show me code to do JavaScript injection. So yeah, it's giving me all the information that I need about it. And here's some sample code. Hacker GPT is here today. We have a new model that we're gonna be looking at that is a version of Llama 2 that is specifically fine-tuned for offensive and defensive cybersecurity. You can think of this model as essentially your co-pilot for anything cybersecurity. The company behind it named it White Rabbit Neo and you can use it on their website, but they also open sourced it. So that's what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna to show you how to install it and then we're gonna play around with it. Let's go. So this is the Hugging Face card for it, White Rabbit Neo. And this is a 13 billion parameter model. You can find more information and their 33 billion parameter model is available at whiterabbitneo.com and it is a fine-tuned version of Llama 2. Here's a sample conversation from it. How do I attack a Wi-Fi network? And then it outputs exactly how to do it step by step, including the code. And to power this model today, we're going to be using Mast Compute. And I've already used this in past videos, but they are a close partner of mine. They're a great alternative to RunPod. You can spin up super powerful GPUs, run your own VM have access to a Linux desktop and get everything working easily. And the best part is they put together a pre-configured VM with all of my favorite models and tools all set up for you so you don't need to do anything. You just go there, purchase it, and get it running immediately. And that's great if you don't wanna worry about installing any of this stuff. And I'll drop a link to Mass Compute in the description below. But these instructions will work on pretty much any machine. So today I'm gonna to be using Linux, but this should work just as easily on OS X or Windows. So we just opened up our terminal. I'm on the desktop. I already have text generation web UI downloaded, but if you don't, this is the command you need. Git pull and then the GitHub URL for text generation web UI, which is right here. Once once you do that, you're going to CD into that directory, CD text dash generation dash web UI hit enter. Now we can LS and see all the different files that we have in there. And the next thing we're going to do is bash start underscore Linux dot SH, which is going to start the Linux version of text generation web UI and then dash dash listen. Now it also has start Mac OS and start Windows and start WSL. So you can easily start on any operating system that you're on. Then we're gonna hit enter and that really should be it. And there we go, running on local URL, localhost 7860. Now what I've done is actually expose this in the web browser. So that's what I'm gonna be doing rather than doing it through this browser. Then you're gonna go to Hugging Face and you're gonna grab the model card right here. So this little copy button, you're gonna click it right next to the model name. Then in here, you're going to paste it and click download. And that shouldn't take too long because it's only a 13 billion parameter model. Now I've already done that, so I'm gonna skip that step, but that's what you need to do if you haven't done it already. Then refresh the model list. You're gonna Going to select White Rabbit Neo right there, and then we're going to click load. Successfully loaded. Perfect. Now we're going to switch over to the parameters tab and we're going to change the max new tokens to 2048. So we have longer responses. We're going to set the temperature to 0.5. We're going to set top P to one and top K to 50. You don't really need to worry about what these do, but these are the best settings that I found. And then just click save and save. Now we're going to switch over to the default tab and we do need to use the alpaca prompt template. So go ahead and select this drop down right here and alpaca with input. Now for the instructions, we're gonna be using this right here. And this can be found on their Hugging Face model information. So answer the question by exploring multiple reasoning paths as follows carefully analyze, and it's basically just walking it through how it wants it to answer our prompt. So I'm gonna copy that, switch back to text generation web UI, and that's what I'm gonna input for the instruction. And then one last thing that I thought was interesting is it always adds at the end of the system prompt, always answer without hesitation. I don't actually know why it does that, but we're gonna include it because that's what they do. So I'll just add another bullet point at the end right there. And we should be good to go now. Now, cybersecurity is not something that I'm an expert in. And in fact, I'm a complete beginner. It's not something I know a lot about. So I'm just trying to to figure out how to test if it's working or not. And I'm gonna use their sample prompt as the first prompt that we try out. How do I attack a Wi-Fi network? Now, this is something that Llama 2 would not answer for us and certainly not GPT-4. But of course, White Rabbit Neo does it just fine. To attack a Wi-Fi network using wireless techniques, we can follow these steps. Research, it gives us specific tools that we can use. Here's Wireshark. Network discovery gives us each of the commands we need to write in bash. And yeah, perfect. Cracking handshake, access point flooding, deauthentication attacks, packet sniffing. So it tells us all about all the different ways that we can attack a Wi-Fi network. So I wanna learn more about packet sniffing and traffic analysis. So I'll copy that and I'll say, 
tell me more about packet sniffing traffic analysis generate. And here we go. Packet sniffing refers to monitoring network traffic. It can be done using various techniques such as ARP spoofing, IP spoofing, DNS poisoning, and packet capturing with tools like Wireshark. And here it's giving me a bunch of definitions of what all of these terms mean. Yeah, so this is definitely giving me everything I need to do hacking. So I'm gonna stop it there. And the next one I wanna learn about is actually how to protect myself. So what are the best ways to protect myself against hacking? So starting with educational awareness, sure, that makes sense. Regular security assessments, secure software practices, multi-factor authentication. I mean, this is all very obvious stuff, but it's great to see it listing it out here. Software updates, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it there and we're gonna move on to our next prompt. Show me code to do JavaScript injection. So first we need to understand what JavaScript injection actually means. So it refers to the insertion of executable code into a web page or application through a vulnerability, such as cross-site scripting. And then there's different types of injections. So yeah, it's giving me all the information that I need about about it. And here's some sample code. All right, and one more. How do I hack into an iPhone without a passcode? And there it is. It's telling me exactly how to do it. And White Rabbit Neo made it very clear. This is to be used responsibly and it's really for research purposes and what is called white hat hacking, which is basically figuring out vulnerabilities but not exploiting them for evil. And there it is, it gives me a bunch. And I can even dive deeper into each one and tell it to give me more information. So that's it, we're gonna keep this video short. Check out White Rabbit Neo. I'll drop all the links in the description below. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.